Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm just gonna give you a kind of update on the no spend challenge, how January and February went and now that we're into March, how how the first few weeks have gone, gone as well. I kept trying to do an update of this before, but I just didn't really have time. Other things kind of took precedent and whatever. Anyway, I'm here to tell you the, the wins, the losses, the goods, the bads, the uglies. So let's start with January. If you like this video though, please give it a thumbs up and comment if you guys are doing a no spend challenge and how yours has gone. Cause I need to know that I'm not alone here cause it's a bit tough. Anyway, January. So January was actually really, really, really good. It rent, rent? It went really well. It basically made me realize that it's kind of ridiculous I'm doing a no spend challenge because it just made me realize how much money I was wasting before and how ungrateful I really was just to have kind of convenience and to have the luxury of choosing to do a no spend challenge in the first place. But it did teach me a lot of things that's really good and it's also broken a lot of really bad habits that I did have before. But I think mostly the stuff that came out of January was really good. So I stopped buying coffee out, I stopped eating any kind of food out, I made my food every single day for lunch, I cycled to work every day, I spent a lot more time with friends at our houses instead of going out, I didn't go out and buy alcohol or anything like that. I focused more on going to the gym and the things that I kind of allowed myself to pay for. I only shopped for groceries once uh, or twice a week. So once a week I'd get my odd box come in, which was package free. And that was obviously diverting waste as well. And then I'd go and get kind of bulk items, but that wouldn't be every week. That'd be maybe once every few weeks because I'd stock up so I wouldn't have to go again. And January, yeah, it went really well. There were a few things I did have to pay for, like one of my best friends is getting married in August, so I had to pay for a few things around that, which obviously I'm, I'm happy to pay for. And even though it's not necessarily um, an essential, that's not something I'm willing to miss when I can afford to go. And yeah, January went really well. There were lots of things that I managed to kind of avoid paying for not because I got other people to pay for me, but because I just simply learned how to make better coffee at home, learned how to enjoy food that I've made myself, you know, and trying to do lots of recipe planning and recipe kind of experimenting and stuff like that, which was really good. And it made me kind of feel like I wasn't completely inept at life. But February was a lot worse. It was not as good and that was for several reasons. Mm, I don't actually know. I guess I got, I think I got like uh, willpower fatigue, even if that's a thing in, in February. And, you know, I started to kind of resent when my friends would go out and do fun things and I would like not be able to go or I'd go and I wouldn't be able to fully enjoy myself and I know it sounds ridiculous but these were things that I kind of started to like um, relent on and like a few people's birthdays and I kind of was just thought like they'd bought me a gift before and I don't want to be that person who doesn't buy your friends gifts because especially and but the, what what was good about it was it made me incredibly much more like thoughtful about those gifts so what I was going to buy those people you know not buying them something that is just for fun or trying to find ways to buy them stuff that I knew that they kind of really needed and also to make it a sustainable swap so to try and buy them something that would help them be more kind of like um, or reduce their waste or become more sustainable or use you know vegan and cruelty free products and stuff like that like soap and whatever and so that was a good opportunity for me to use my money for like a good thing um, but also I think what um, I have started spending money on because I've been able to save so much money is donating um, as I started this kind of low waste movement, which is quite overwhelming because I guess 
I didn't intend to make it so soon. It just, I was getting really frustrated with uh, what I was preaching and stuff not being very accessible. And I thought if I am gonna commit to making this low impact kind of like movement, I want it to be more than us individually kind of changing. So I decided that each week through the impact movement will um, donate money. So one week we donated to a small project that's called Zero Waste Angola, where um, a really great influencer called She Is Awake, um, who is from Angola, but is living in Lisbon at the moment, I think in Portugal. And she wanted to build a project where she helped women in Angola with, with zero waste period. Um, like pads and cups and stuff like that to help them you know having a period at the best of times can be you know uncomfortable it can be difficult and so it was really great to be able to support a project that was not only helping women and helping them have a positive period experience but also to do it in a low waste and low impact way and last week Instead of choosing a project, we decided to help a few people in our area who were in need. And I think it's a nice thing to be able to donate money to projects that are gonna help and extend our reach, but also help your community that are around you as well. And so it's been nice to be able to actually use some of the money that I've been saving for something that is the whole point of the no spend challenge and, and what I'm doing and why you know what I'm dedicating my life to so yeah it's it that's been a positive kind of thing of changing my habits and making rather than saying I'm not spending money doing it kind of I'm not spending money so that I can use this money for something better and it's you know it's it's good it's positive and I'm I'm happy that we're doing that now so I mean I'm obviously still gonna continue and I mean one of the biggest issues I've had in February is that the weather was so bad and it genuinely made me incredibly like depressed and I just didn't want to cycle to work so I ended up not cycling to work most days and getting the train instead but that enabled me to keep on track with a few other things because once something starts spiraling, then it can become that's this really negative spiral that is hard to get out of. But the good thing about not spending money is it's taught me to be thrifty, taught me to realize what the things that I actually do need, value the stuff that I have already so much more and stop thinking that not everything I have is good enough, you know, start thinking more about, well, what can I do with the stuff that I already have, you know, and start, instead of just constantly thinking, I need this and I need this and I need this. So it's been incredibly positive and March has definitely been a lot better. I don't think I've, I think I've eaten out once maybe. And that's because one of my best friends from Australia has just moved in with me or moved to London as well. So it's, um, yeah, it was difficult. It's, it's really hard when, because so many people keep kind of like coming into my life and out of my life and there are so many things that you want to do to like celebrate and commiserate and things like that but very loud noise outside well it's not quieting down so anyway I'm gonna leave it there because there's you know there's not that much to update it's just to kind of tell you that January was great February was shit March is better and just because one month wasn't so good doesn't mean I'm just gonna completely like give up on it and like fail I'm just gonna keep keep going, keep saving money, keep donating, keep learning new things and trying better to understand how to navigate the world without constantly thinking about what I want and what I want to buy instead of thinking about the relationships that I have and the other things in my life that are more important. Yeah, so that's probably about it for now. I will do an update and again, and hopefully it won't be so long, but yeah anyway thanks for watching and i will update you soon see you guys later bye